To open a dome panel, click on Futures and then select Depth of Market. The dome panel provides fast efficient access to primary trading functions in a fast moving market. In one spot, you can see the current price and market depth of the selected contract, your current position and average position price for that item, as well as working bids and offers. We'll first review the different features and settings on the dome before actually placing a trade on it. The account tab allows you to select the account to be traded from the drop down menu. An individual customer trading on this panel will only see his main account in the list. A broker who is authorized to trade customer accounts will see all of his accounts. Next is the Symbol Lookup tab. This is where you'll enter the symbol for the contract you wish to trade on the dome panel. Please keep in mind that only those products for which PFGBest.com streams live data can be traded on a dome panel. Floor traded products are not good candidates for this kind of trading platform. The time lags between order entry and getting the order to the exchange floor are simply too great. If you're unsure of the symbol for the contract you're looking for, click on the question mark. It'll bring up a list. You'll make your selection from that drop down list. Click OK and then the dome should start to stream data for your contract. Clicking on the red X will hide the account and symbol information. In doing so, it allows for more room on the panel for the trading grid. This panel will also allow you to edit your font size as well as the number of rows displayed on the panel. The center price grid shows the selected contract prices with the market price highlighted in this orange color. You can drag these prices up and down using your left mouse or the center wheel on your mouse. Right clicking in the column will pop up a menu giving you buy and sell options as well as an option to open a floating dome panel. The first item in this list simply shows where on the grid you clicked. Actually clicking it will collapse the menu itself. Once you have positions on, the center price grid will also highlight your average position price. And the numbers you see in the blue column or the buy column shows the quantity bid at a given price level. Clicking the blue column will enter a buy limit order at the corresponding price level. And the red column, which is a sell column, those numbers you see show the quantity offered at a given price level. Clicking the red column will enter a sell limit order. This panel also gives you the option to enter an order with a set quantity by either left clicking or right clicking. The LQTY below stands for left click quantity. Left clicking either the blue or red columns will generate buy and sell trades respectively. The quantity to be traded will be the quantity shown in the LQTY field which is set before placing a trade. After an order is placed by clicking the grid, the quantity in the left click quantity field will automatically be reset to its default quantity below. And these default buttons pertain only to your left click quantity. So if I select, if I left click on the number two, left clicking on these buttons, if I left click on two, it will add that amount to my left click quantity. So you, now it's three. If I right click on this button, it will subtract that amount from my left click quantity. You can change these values by clicking your center mouse button or mouse wheel and edit the quantity respectively. Permanent changes can also be made in the setup menu. The RQTY stands for right click quantity. Right clicking either the blue or red columns will generate buy or sell trades and the quantity to be traded will be the quantity shown in the right click quantity field which again is set before you place a trade. Unlike the left click quantity this field remains constant and will always use and remain set to the value shown in this setting. This RS stands for reset which will reset your left click quantity buttons. And this small checkbox simply toggles the display of volume summaries on and off. So the sum of the bids and the sum of the offers 
will appear above their respective columns and you'll see that information here and the ratio of the two figures appear in the center center panel the delete bids delete ask and delete all button can be used to very quickly cancel working orders to cancel all your working offers you'll click on the delete ask button to cancel all your bids you'll click the delete bids button and to cancel all working orders on the panel itself you can click either delete all button it is important to note that these buttons cancel only those orders shown as working orders and you'll soon see that they have a green background on this panel only they will not cancel orders on other panels or for any other trading vehicle also market and pending orders will not be canceled so to place an order you'll simply want to left click or right click depending on the quantity you want in either the blue or red column to place your bid you'll want to click on the blue market depth bid volume column and to place your offers you'll click in the red market depth ask volume column the price level that is clicked will be the limit price that is used for the trade so we're going to place an order uh, let's see and we're going to right click I'm going to set my actually we're going to left click I'll set my left click quantity to 2 so I'm left clicking a confirmation window will appear and now you'll see that I have a working order at this level for a quantity of 2 to cancel an order you'll simply click in this green working order pane or I can can cancel it by clicking the delete bits button or the delete all button so I'll simply click in this pane to cancel this working order and now that order has been canceled pending orders will appear in pink and are prefixed with the letter P please note that pending orders cannot be canceled only after the exchange has accepted the order and indicated that it is working can it then be canceled and again working orders will have the green background and they can be dragged to different prices so we'll create another working order I can drag this price to a different level simply by clicking in the pane and dragging it to another price so the initial order has been canceled and now I have a new working order at this level I can create multiple orders simply by clicking in the pane again so now I have two working orders there once if multiple orders are in the same pane they can be canceled individually they will be canceled individually and once they're all canceled a single order for the sum of this quantity of canceled orders will be entered so if I decide to cancel this it canceled both working orders okay this LMT button we're gonna start with that by default the dome panel enters limit orders when the blue or red columns are clicked to enter a stop order simply click on this box and it will the next order to go in will be a stop order I can if I choose to have a stop limit order set I can make my change by going to file setup and under order settings I'll change my dome stop order type to a stop limit if that's what I choose but we're gonna change that back to limit this next box shows your net positions um, so it shows the net positions in the selected trading vehicle which means it shows them for this dome panel long positions will be shown in blue as positive values and short positions will be shown in red as negative values the panel lock will lock or unlock your panel obviously while in the locked position no trading activity can be initiated these buttons are pretty they're actually they're self-explanatory this will page up the prices this button will center on the last price the last market price and this will page down your prices the push pin will open a floating dome panel 
and we're going to start with on the left side with this top box. This checkbox enables and disables your market trade buttons. So if unchecked, the buttons cannot be clicked accidentally. I can't click any of these buttons. But when I do check that box, it enables the panel. And we'll start with this first box. If I click in this box, it will tell me what I need to do in order to get flat in a position. Currently, I'm not in a position, so let's get in a position really quickly. Okay, so it shows that I have a net position of 1, and this will tell me what I need to do in order to get flat as far as the dome panel knows. So it's telling me I need to sell 1. So if I click on that, my net position will then be 0. So it shows that I'm flat now. And you should avoid clicking this button repeatedly. It is extremely important that you monitor the results of this get flat operation very closely. The reverse position acts similarly to the flat button. It uses the position shown in the net position field and reverses your position by placing an opposite order for twice the quantity. So let's get in another position. Currently it shows that I'm I have a net position of 2. If I click on the reverse position button, it will show it will sell 4 at a market price. So I'll click that. And then I should be short 2. So I'm now in a reverse position. And again, for this button to act as design, you only need to click it one time. If it is clicked multiple times, unexpected trades could result. Therefore, it is again extremely important that you monitor the results of the reverse position operation as well. And the market buy button, left clicking this market buy button enters a market order using the quantity shown in my left click quantity field. If I right click in this button, it'll use, it will enter me into a market order using the quantity in my right click quantity field. If I left click in the market sell button, it'll enter me into a market sell order using the quantity in my left click quantity field. And if I right click in this area, it will enter me into a market sell order using the quantity shown in my right click quantity field. For further instruction on the dome panel, you'll want to press the F1 button on your keyboard to bring up a help menu for the dome panel.